The Art of War by Sun Tzu is an enduring masterpiece that explores the complexities of military strategy, leadership, and the art of achieving victory without engaging in direct conflict. In this comprehensive summary, we will delve into the key concepts and principles discussed in the book. It is a timeless classic that offers valuable insights into the world of warfare. It is not just a manual for military commanders, but also a guide for anyone seeking to understand the dynamics of power and influence. Whether you are a YouTuber, a marketing content creator, an online course creator, a blogger, or a podcaster, the principles outlined in this book can be applied to various aspects of life. The book emphasizes the importance of strategic thinking and planning. Sun Tzu emphasizes the need to understand oneself, the enemy, and the battlefield in order to achieve victory. He stresses the significance of knowing one's strengths and weaknesses, as well as those of the opponent. By exploiting the enemy's vulnerabilities and capitalizing on one's own strengths, success can be attained. One of the key principles discussed in The Art of War is the concept of deception. Sun Tzu advocates for the use of tactics such as feints, distractions, and misdirection to confuse and outmaneuver the enemy. By creating an illusion of strength or weakness, one can gain a strategic advantage and control the outcome of a conflict. Another important aspect highlighted in the book is the value of leadership. Sun Tzu emphasizes the role of a strong and capable leader in achieving victory. A leader must inspire and motivate their troops, instill discipline, and lead by example. By fostering a sense of unity and purpose, a leader can maximize the potential of their team and ensure success on the battlefield. The Art of War also emphasizes the importance of adaptability and flexibility. Sun Tzu advises against rigid adherence to plans and strategies as circumstances on the battlefield are constantly changing. A successful commander must be able to adapt their tactics and strategies to suit the evolving situation. This requires quick thinking, creativity, and the ability to make decisive decisions under pressure. In conclusion, The Art of War by Sun Tzu is a timeless masterpiece that offers valuable insights into the world of military strategy and leadership. Whether you are a content creator, a marketer, or simply someone seeking to improve their understanding of strategy, this book provides a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. By applying the principles outlined in this book, you can enhance your decision-making skills, improve your leadership abilities, and achieve success in various aspects of life. This incredible book is divided into 13 chapters, each exploring different aspects of warfare, strategy, and leadership. Chapter 1, Laying Plans. In the opening chapter, Sun Tzu highlights the crucial role of strategic planning. He emphasizes the significance of evaluating the circumstances, comprehending the terrain, and calculating the costs before entering into any conflict. According to Sun Tzu, victory hinges on meticulous preparation. Chapter 2, Waging War. In this chapter, we delve into the art of waging war effectively. Sun Tzu emphasizes the need for swift and decisive victory in order to minimize both costs and casualties. He encourages the adaptation of strategies according to the circumstances at hand, as well as recognizing the crucial role of timing. Chapter 3, Attack by Stratagem. Deception plays a crucial role in the art of war. Sun Tzu emphasizes the use of cunning strategies to bewilder and deceive the enemy. He delves into the significance of understanding when to project weakness and when to project strength in order to exploit the weaknesses of the opponent. Chapter 4, Tactical Dispositions. In this chapter, Sun Tzu highlights the crucial role of adaptability in warfare. He emphasizes the significance of being flexible in strategy and being able to adjust plans based on the ever-changing dynamics of the battlefield. A key aspect of effective leadership is having a deep understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of both one's own forces and the enemy. Chapter 5, Energy. In this chapter, we will delve into the fascinating concept of conserving energy and resources. Sun Tzu, the brilliant strategist, advises us to steer clear of prolonged conflicts that drain our resources. Instead, he encourages us to adopt an efficient and strategic approach to achieve our objectives. When it comes to conserving energy and resources, Sun Tzu's wisdom is invaluable. 
He emphasizes the importance of avoiding unnecessary battles that can deplete our valuable resources. By carefully selecting our battles and using our forces strategically, we can maximize our chances of success while minimizing the strain on our resources. Sun Tzu's approach to conserving energy and resources is not only practical, but also highly effective. By focusing on the most crucial objectives and utilizing our forces in a calculated manner, we can achieve our goals without exhausting ourselves or depleting our resources. In essence, Sun Tzu teaches us that conserving energy and resources is not about avoiding conflicts altogether, but rather about approaching them with a strategic mindset. By conserving our energy and resources, we can ensure that we are always prepared for the battles that truly matter and that we have the necessary strength and resources to emerge victorious. So let us embrace Sun Tzu's wisdom and strive to conserve our energy and resources. By doing so, we can become more efficient, effective, and successful in our endeavors. Chapter six, weak points and strong. To achieve victory, it is essential to have a deep understanding of both the strengths and weaknesses of your own side, as well as your opponents. Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of exploiting the weaknesses of the enemy while safeguarding your own vulnerabilities. By recognizing the strategic advantages and disadvantages, you can ensure a more favorable outcome in battle. Chapter 7, Mastering the Art of Maneuvering. In this chapter, Sun Tzu explores the crucial role of maneuvering and positioning in the realm of warfare. He emphasizes the significance of unpredictability and the creation of opportunities through outmaneuvering the opponent. By executing swift and unexpected movements, one can gain a strategic advantage. Chapter 7, Mastering the Art of Maneuvering. In this chapter, Sun Tzu explores the crucial role of maneuvering and positioning in the realm of warfare. He emphasizes the significance of unpredictability and the creation of opportunities through outmaneuvering the opponent. By executing swift and unexpected movements, one can gain a strategic advantage. Chapter 9, Engaging the Force. In this chapter, we will explore the crucial factors to consider before entering into battle. Sun Tzu highlights the significance of comprehending the motives and morale of both your own forces and the enemy. By engaging the force with a clear understanding of these factors, you significantly enhance your chances of achieving victory. Chapter 10, Adaptability. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of adaptability and the ability to change strategies swiftly, as emphasized by Sun Tzu. A truly successful leader is one who can adjust their plans according to the ever-changing circumstances on the battlefield. Adaptability is a crucial trait for any leader. It allows them to respond effectively to unexpected challenges and seize opportunities that arise. In the face of uncertainty, a leader who can quickly adapt their strategies is more likely to achieve victory. Sun Tzu understood the dynamic nature of warfare and the need for flexibility. He believed that rigid adherence to a single plan would lead to failure. Instead, he advocated for leaders to constantly assess the situation and make adjustments as necessary. The ability to adapt requires a deep understanding of one's own strengths and weaknesses, as well as those of the enemy. By recognizing and capitalizing on their own advantages, leaders can exploit the vulnerabilities of their opponents. This requires a keen sense of observation and the ability to think critically in high-pressure situations. Furthermore, adaptability is not just about reacting to changes. It also involves proactively seeking out new opportunities. A leader who is open to innovation and willing to explore different approaches is more likely to stay ahead of the curve. In today's rapidly changing world, adaptability is more important than ever. The business landscape is constantly evolving and leaders must be able to navigate through uncertainty and ambiguity. Those who can adapt quickly and effectively will be better equipped to thrive in this dynamic environment. In conclusion, adaptability is a key attribute of successful leaders. By being flexible, open-minded, and willing to change strategies, leaders can navigate through challenges and seize opportunities. Sun Tzu's teachings on adaptability remain relevant today, reminding us of the importance of staying agile in the face of change. Chapter 11, Gaining the Upper Hand. 
To gain a strategic advantage, it's crucial to grasp the terrain, weather, and the psychological state of the enemy. Sun Tzu emphasizes the significance of utilizing these factors to establish favorable conditions for achieving victory. Chapter 12, The Art of Spycraft. Deception and intelligence are the secret weapons of warfare. Sun Tzu, the master strategist, emphasizes the importance of employing spies to gain valuable information about the enemy and seize strategic opportunities. In the world of war, knowledge is power and deciphering the enemy's intentions is the ultimate key to triumph. Chapter 13, Conclusion. In this concluding chapter, Sun Tzu brings together the fundamental principles that have been explored throughout the book. He emphasizes the significance of strategic thinking, adaptability, and the crucial understanding of oneself and the enemy. According to Sun Tzu, victory is not solely about triumphing over the opponent in battle, but rather about efficiently achieving objectives while minimizing losses.